So as much as it pains for me to say it, as much as it pains for me to admit it, I may have been wrong about Diablo 4. I remember when the game was released. In fact, I remember the beta and how many of us to an extent were excited. Like, wow, the game's pretty good. And then the actual release happened. And it was just so lacking, wasn't it? And I played for season one only to fade out uh, without much time at all. So then I jumped back in for season two, and it was lackluster. Pretty sure many would agree with that. Season three as well. I really didn't like the season two mechanic where you had to like have those weird socket things in your ring and put whatever effect goes into that. It was annoying. Season three, I don't remember season three. I didn't play season three. I skipped it. I was so disappointed in season two. But then season four came around, and as with a lot of things, I tend to be a bit late. I like to sit back and observe first, which is a bit counterintuitive when I make videos on these video games, right? Like the freaking channel's called Iceman Diablo 4, isn't it? So you'd think that I'd be on top of that. Obviously, once again, that was not the case with the expansion, seeing how I didn't even buy it yet. And how long has this thing been out for? Five, six days? I don't know. I was hesitant. But going back to season four, I waited for just a little while. And... Then I thought, you know what, I spent. Maybe you should just give it a try. For old time's sake. Maybe you should shut off the criticisms, everything else. And avoid looking at guides and so forth and just take it in as a spiritual journey. If you will. And that's what I did. Made the necromancer started buffing up the skeletal mage damage on gear through temperaments. And it was awesome. Well, I, well, I don't know if it was awesome, but it was a pretty good time, right? And I played that season for quite a bit. Maxed my character out to level 100 at the time is what it was. Maxed out my paragon and thought it was a good time. My mistake was I abandoned my Necromancer and I went to, like, the Whirlwind Barbarian or something. And then I wanted to go back to the Necromancer, but my stash was just so full of garbage. I just didn't feel like going through it, so I just quit. But that was the best time that I've had playing Diablo 4 thus far. It was Season 4, definitely. Season 5, I delved in for just a minute. What got me out of Season 5? I can't recall. What was that even like? You guys let me know in the comments below. And then all of a sudden we have this Vessel of Hatred slash Season 6 thing. And of course I resisted, you know? I was like, I mean, there's a lot of complaints. You know, if you Google it, you YouTube it, just all these folks complaining about how the game was incomplete. What the hell are we doing spending 40 bucks, I think is what it is, on an expansion when it should have been like this from the start. And then there's this stuff about how, like, we don't even fight Mephisto or something. Like, he was in the trailer. What the hell? Do you not do you really not fight Mephisto in the expansion? I've been out of the loop a little bit. I haven't been watching the videos, like I said. But I feel like you guys are saying that you don't fight Mephisto. What the hell's going on here? I thought that was a whole advertisement campaign of the freaking expansion, wasn't it? How, like, there's this big-ass Mavisa that you fight or whatever. But, I mean, that's not that big of a deal. I mean, it all feels the same to me. All these big bosses, you know, just flashing on the screen. There's not much fright in there. I mean, I'm not looking to complain too much in this video, because that's what it's about. It's about how maybe, to an extent, I was wrong. Yeah. Maybe I need to sit back 
and contemplate. I think I've been too busy just on my phone, just watching videos or on the little laptop, just watching videos. And as you guys know, I have other channels, right? Chilling Tales from the Iceman, Meditations by Iceman, or is it from the Iceman? I can't remember. But I have my Diablo 2 channel. And two of these channels have almost 15,000 subs. I think one of them has more than that. Also, I have one with 30-some thousand subs, but I kind of abandoned that channel. <laughs> but you guys see what I'm saying? Is, uh, I've been kind of... I feel like I've been missing out. On life. On just the moment. On dwelling, on being content. It's just that we live in a day. There are these distractions and everything else just all over the place. It's so easy to just get lost in doom scrolling, right? Do you guys ever do that? Like, I'm on the Facebook, right? I use it for Marketplace, that's it. I don't, like, post shit on there. I don't have a personal account. I just use it for Marketplace. But even with that, like, I'll scroll and scroll and scroll, and you just see all these, like, little short videos and stuff like that. I don't know what they call them on Facebook. The damn thing just never ends. And I feel like every time I get off there, I'm just... Like, I haven't learned anything. I'm not any more happy than what I was before I started scrolling. So where really is the value in that? I don't know. And I'm wondering if, to an extent, if it has made me cynical. Just too much stimulation all the time, always. It didn't really used to be like this. You remember back in the day with Nintendo 64, with Sega Dreamcast, probably PS2 as well. Like, there wasn't just all this abundant content on YouTube. Like, any time something happened, there was just videos and, like, a thousand videos on it. Criticisms, reviews, this and that. Just all the exploits, all the cheats, everything. Like, it was a more calm time. You just sit there and... You were able to, like, take something in a bit. More easily. Right? There were just distractions everywhere. It's fucking crazy. And yeah, there's reasonable things to complain about with Diablo 4. All right, I really don't like how they have all the torment things now. I mean, I, I, I was hoping they'd stay away from that. That's what they did with Diablo 3. What are there, 16 or 17 torment levels in Diablo 3? It just sets a new standard, and everybody's just chasing that top torment. And then there's just all these useless modes with, like, no differences between them other than higher numbers. You know, it's crazy. I really don't like just the higher numbers chase. You know, you're like a freaking hamster on a wheel. And how the game can start the first hour you're playing, like it's all the same content all the way through. Like in Diablo 2, that wasn't how it was. Enemies had different effects in hell mode. And then you could do the uber bosses. Do something like Project Diablo 2, which I think is the best way to play Diablo 2. You can do the mapping system, right? Where you have level 85 plus areas and more drops, things like that. But I mean, there was, you had to go through the journey. It seems like you don't really have to go through the journey. I mean, I'm, I'm not really looking forward to the campaign. Part of me wants to just wait to buy the expansion because I know they're going to make it an option where you can just skip the campaign. You know, they're going to do that. I'm quite sure of it. Just like what they did with the original release. You know, when at first, the first season one, you had to play the damn campaign. Or maybe that wasn't even season one. That was just on release before seasons began. You had to play the campaign first before doing like adventure mode or whatever the hell they call it. Because they wanted you to experience the story. I, I, it's really, I'm not looking forward to the story. It doesn't, it, it doesn't look compelling, you know? And some say that they catfished us. Or they Mephisto-fished us, you know? <laughs> we don't even fight that freaking boss that uh, was in the advertisement campaign. That was like the 
central point of it all. But I can forgive him for that. Yeah, there are other things I probably can't forgive him for. But that doesn't mean that I'm not going to play. You know, again, the torments, I've, why the hell did they do that? This is just going to cause escalation, right? Or the next expansion, oh, look, there's five more torment levels. So we just make the numbers go higher and there's really no work on our end. We just make, we just take the knob and just tune it up like this. And we don't have to like add anything else interesting or a variation or anything of that sort, you know? So that part bothers me. And yeah, the characters, for the most part, they're ugly as you know what. All right, we need visually appealing characters. You know, give us more customization to everything. The proportions, the, the weight, the, the hair, everything. You know, that's another major criticism. And there are a few more, but I don't have to go on in this video about those things. And I do like the item chase, like what we had in Diablo 2. We chased for the runes, and there were actual rune words. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just wondering... That's my doggie going off right there, and one of my wives is actually walking up the stairs right now. I wonder if she was listening to the video. <laughs> I tried to get them not to listen to the video. I'm like, oh, I want you girls go do your thing, you know? You can sew, you can knit, you can read a book, put on your headphones when I make a video. I just don't really like my wives listening to me when I'm making a video. Does anyone else have that problem? For those of you who are creators or whatever, content creators, let me know in the comments below. But I'm wondering if perhaps Iceman needs to sit back. Calm down, doggy. Just a minute, Wolf. Needs to sit back, put down the phone, put down the, close the laptop. Get a breath of fresh air. Go for a walk. And just be, perhaps prepare myself for getting the expansion and going into this thing, no guides, as usual, the spiritual journey, no videos, this and that, this guy's saying this, this guy's saying that, oh, chase to the end game content, oh, copy this build, you know what I'm saying? No. I'm thinking maybe I should consider this, but what do you guys have to say? Let me know in the comments below. Because it very well could be the case that this is season four only better. And I did enjoy season four. It had its problems, but I enjoyed it. So I'm curious what you guys have to say about that. Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to this page. Like the video. And I will see you tomorrow. Peace be with you.